Well, policy governing electric vehicles is at the center of a new study by Environment America. The report was released today at the auto show. Looks at what the industry wants from Washington to move forward, make a big push forward on electric vehicles. With us now live from Madison Heights, Michigan is Shelly Vineyard. She's from Environment Michigan. Shelly, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Susan. Now, you guys say what, what is needed is a dramatic ramp up of electric cars. Tell me about the timing that you guys are looking at for this and what is it that you want out of Washington policy wise? Well, today, Environment Michigan released the report, powering, Plug-in Cars, Powering America Towards a Cleaner Future. This report shows that plug-in cars are an exciting new technology that will drive our nation and our economy towards a cleaner, healthier future. We are urging our state, local, and national officials to uh, fully harness the power of plug-in cars by setting clean car standards uh, setting low carbon fuel standards and supporting smart grid technology. We're also, at the same time, we're, we must ensure that federal officials and uh, at the state and federal level maintain the authority to regulate global warming emissions. So what are, what are the biggest obstacles um, um, that the industry is facing right now? I mean, a lot of people talk about the grid um, needing some major upgrades. And, you know, can it really handle the electricity that would be needed for the kind of push that electric car uh, supporters want? Well, currently, uh, the, we have the infrastructure to power 73% of all of our light cars, light trucks, and SUVs from electricity if we charge at night. And utilities need to encourage, um, encourage charging at low electricity demand times. And over time, we will need to see uh, more infrastructure devoted to plug-in hybrids. Right. Okay. So are you guys all about um, all, if you had your way, all electric all the time, or are you also in favor of, you know, backup liquid fuels of whatever type? Well, plug-in hybrid technology is an exciting way to reduce our oil consumption, to reduce global warming pollution, lower fuel costs, and reduce unhealthy air pollution. I mean, some argue that, you know, the emissions associated with mining, shipping materials, making the batteries, shipping them to the car makers, you know, could be higher than the emissions of a regular old gas powered car. Well, we found that plug-in hybrid cars can actually, more than 40 stu recent studies show that plug-in hybrid cars reduce our uh, carbon dioxide emissions uh, more than traditional gasoline powered cars. What's your, what's your prospect for, uh, I mean, I guess if, you know, if policy-wise, if things go uh, in this direction, um, for electrics and hybrids really becoming affordable for average Americans, you know, just talking around my circles, everybody would love one, but nobody can afford one. Well, new technologies always cost, are always more costly at the beginning, but as technology improves and demand increases for these plug-in hybrid cars, um, we do expect prices to go down, uh, just as they did for other new technologies like cell phones and computers. So we talk a lot about plug-in vehicles producing no you know, direct tailpipe pollution, of course, when they're operating on electricity, but with half electricity coming from coal right now, um, you know, what, are, you, are you really looking to the future when renewables are truly incorporated into the grid and we're talking about you know, cleaner energy from start to finish? Uh, well, definitely. Go ahead. Um, well, definitely to uh, maximize the environmental benefits of plug-in hybrid cars, we should be transitioning to a clean energy economy that harnesses wind and solar power. Right. But even taking into account um, the generation of electricity and the polluting sources we unfortunately use right now, um, we would be reducing our global warming pollution. Where do you see the future? Do you see electric cars living right alongside a natural gas powered vehicles, biofuel powered vehicles, hydrogen fueled vehicles, or do you really see uh, you know, one of them taking the forefront? Uh, we would love to see plug-in hybrid t vehicles taking the forefront and uh, leading the way in our transition to a clean energy economy. All right. Well, Shelley Vineyard from Environment Michigan, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. And we appreciate your insight.